today's lesson, we're going to look at why we make use of databases. A database consists of lots of data that can be organized in a specific way. An example of this would be the cell phone numbers that you have of your friends on your cell phone. Not only do you have the cell phone number, but you also have their name, their surname, perhaps their date of birth, and all kinds of other data elements that, con that relate to that particular contact. Let's look an at an example of a database. This database is used to keep record of student details. This was a form that was created in the database to capture the information needed. We've got the first name, the last name, perhaps an email address, and lots of other fields available that we can fill in that relates to this specific student. We could also include guardian information, medical information, and very important, we can also keep record of their attendance. So that's the first thing that a database does. It stores information. The other thing that a database does is that it can extract information from the stored data. This is usually done in a query. Let's look at, a, at an example of a query. This particular query will show us the attendance record of Kiani Dimitrov, for instance. You can also run a report. Here's an example of a report based on the query that we just looked at. Usually you use the report to print out, and that will be useful for a parent's evening if they wanted to know exactly what her attendance was like. The database that we just looked at was a template that I downloaded from the internet. There's lots of templates available, so please go have a look at what is available to you. Other examples of a database could include something like an inventory list for a company. Here you would keep data on the products that they sell, the selling price, the profit margin, etc. The whole point of a database is to store the information so that you can use it later on for problem solving. For instance, a problem could be how much profit did we make this year? Or how many products do we have in stock? To conclude our lesson, a database is used to store information. You can extract information from it, and hopefully with that extracted information, you can make some decisions. So databases are used for processing information and changing it from data into useful information. That concludes our lesson on using databases. Thank <music> you.